Let's have a look at the cross media bar and the XBR9 set to give an idea of what all your options are. First, product support, contact Sony, phone numbers, serial number of your TV, current software and website for contact information. Software update allows you to update all the software in your TV for the internet and widgets. Everything's up to date. In our preferences, our scene select, Automatic tries to pick whichever it thinks you're watching, so specially set for sports, for a game to minimize lag, everything can be set here, very simple to figure out. With our eco settings, power saving allows you to save up to 40% of the power by adjusting the backlight. The light sensor allows you to actually change the brightness of the TV automatically. Idle TV automatically shuts off at your predetermined limit, and if you've hooked up a PC, it'll automatically go to sleep when that PC does. Setting your time, language region, your closed caption, your parental locks, the info banner at the top, you can change it to from small, medium, or large. Looking at your front panel logo illumination and an HD signaling indicator, you can turn that off and on. You can change the home scrolling to make it a little more accessible, a little easier to use. And you can lock out the picture adjustments. If you spend a lot of time getting everything just so, you can lock it so someone doesn't come by and, and change that. Let's go through the initial startup to see how that goes. We'll pick English. It tells you the steps. We're going to set it up for home. You also have a retail setting, so when you're setting it up in a store, you get everything vivid and bright in a way that wouldn't look as good at home, but it looks good on the floor with uh, all those fluorescent lights. So we'll set our date and time. We've set it up for home use here. And very simple using the cross media bar. We're going to skip the uh, channels. I don't have it hooked up to cable. And then we'll. Uh, set up the internet. You've got wired or wireless bridge in case you're using a wireless situation and start and it'll automatically connect to the network. A wireless bridge like a power line adapter can be used if you don't have an ethernet cable right to the back of the TV. That allows you to extend wirelessly an ethernet cable throughout your house. I've got this one connected directly. It's just hooked up to a regular cable modem service and it's going to make all the settings and configuration and when it's done it'll let me know. Okay everything's good and it says congratulations I'm all set up. So very simple to set up. Picture and display settings much like previous TVs you've got your presets, your standard, vivid, custom each one of those uh, can be customized inside with all the various settings and as well with screen you can set your defaults for your wide modes whether or not you want 4x3 content stretched or wide zoomed and some adjustments on the display area. In the sound you've got all your sound adjustments this is where you can find that great feature voice zoom to magnify the spoken words so in uh, sports ideal for that. You've got a sound enhancer especially for digital music as well you've got a S-Force front surround so if you're using the television speakers this gives you a great powerful sound just with the built-in speakers. Whether or not you're setting up with a system you might want to adjust those settings. Your inputs you can manage those in terms of whether or not you see the inputs on auto they'll only appear when they're plugged in always means that input will always be available. And we can go down, I'm going to customize HDMI 2 here. I'm going to pick from my options. You can pick uh, edit as one of the options. And I'm just going to make a custom one here for a PS3. So I'm going to pick edit. And then using the keys back and forth, I'm going to pick PS3. And 3. Then I'm going to hit enter on the number keys. I'm going to pick the little game icon. Then I get a nice descriptive input. So HDMI 2 is going to show up as PS3 with my little icon. All my channel information. And the control for HDMI. So if you're using Bravia Sync, you can adjust things right there. USB auto start. 
for whether what happens when you put in a USB drive to look at pictures and finally your network setup which we've already done our initial setup with the photos you can look at over DLNA or USB here's a few pictures here just to give you an idea of how this works when I load up a picture here so I've got a picture I can pick playback method and there's some neat slideshow effects single having the picture slide one way to the other the butterfly effect and the new museum so this replicates the idea of walking through a museum or a gallery showing your pictures so there's a little light from the top we have the piano music playing and as we move from one image to the other it just flows along really nicely uh, you can play mp3s off the USB drive as well um, to accompany your slideshow so it's a really easy way put some pictures and a couple audio files on there and you can make a nice little slideshow running in the background if you're having a party or people over this is a great way just to share or look at your memories without a lot of fuss so that's the museum mode there are a couple other more standard modes as well and finally on the cross media bar here we've got the music there's a built-in piano sample you can use as a demo and you've also got your USB